Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a more reflective kind of sit down and just talking video. I have black nail varnish. I don't know if that signifies anything. So it is officially the new year. It's 2017. New year, new me and all that. I'm not the kind of person to make like a huge list of new resolutions anymore. I used to be and I do really like lists but this year I decided not to make a list. I just kind of have in my head things I really need to try and do. A lot of them are mental kind of wise but I do really want to get a job like outside of this that I can make money for so I can like go away and leave this country and the shithole and quirk because I hate it. No, I'm kidding. I do kind of like this place but sometimes I'm like I really don't belong here and that's part of one of my realizations actually in my book that I wrote down 17 things I learned in 2017. I was reflecting and thinking to myself earlier and I wanted to make a video about some things I've learned so then maybe next year I can look back on this and see what I learned last year. 2017 was one of the best years of my whole life. Like I have done so much stuff I never thought I'd ever do. I had so much fun with my friends. I met so many amazing new people that I never probably would have met before. I had a lot of ups and a lot of downs. All shaped me more as a person and taught me that life is worth living. This was a very emotional year for me. I had a lot of different emotions <laughs> in 2017. I've like definitely cried the most this year out of all the years I've ever cried, but it was in a good way for some, from the most part. I'm just a very emotional person. Oh yes, by the way, this pretty <laughs> hoodie that I'm wearing is from shine.com. As I was wearing in the last video, I was wearing the yellow, jumper it's also from shine.com so this is a really pretty cropped let me show you tracksuit top and there's bottoms and they're matching and they're this like really pretty red velour color and i'm loving red velour we have the nicest clothes ever it's my favorite website i've ever had a collab from there will be linked in the description to their website and to this exact cropped hoodie tracksuit velour thing it looks so pretty in the sliding i don't even know where to start with all the shit i learned this year because i learned so much here it is, bitches. Here's my list. So, the 17 things I learned in 2017. Let's go. Everyone makes mistakes. That's very true. I made a lot of mistakes this year. I like to try and pretend a lot of them didn't even happen. They were so bad. I'm just going to learn from them and move on and become a better person due to those mistakes. I also wrote that you will lose friends. I definitely feel like I lost a few people that I used to be closer with. Maybe not like fully lost, but I definitely became closer to other people that I maybe wouldn't have thought I would become closer to. And I actually have a really, really small circle of friends at the moment, which is I'm really, really happy for. I mean, I have a lot of cool internet mutuals and people that don't live in Cork or people that um, I've met once or twice that are from different places. But I came them as my friends too, but I'm talking about like close best friends. I actually only have like five, or I don't even know, like or less, like a tiny little circle. They all know who they are and I love them all very much. So I definitely made my circle a lot smaller this year. It's not a bad thing to have a small circle of friends. I know a lot of people might think it is or they want to have loads of friends, but I definitely now would rather have a much smaller circle than I used to of just people I was acquaintances with, people I would hang out with for no reason, like I didn't really like them or know them. And I think I've become a lot, I've become a bit more introverted this year, well towards the end of this year. At the start I was very extroverted, but I actually became a lot more introverted. I actually prefer just being with one or two people rather than like a massive group. I mean, I still go to parties and so I still go out sometimes, but I sometimes like to focus on other things now other than just drinking and getting drunk and stuff, but I mean, I'll still do that equation occasionally. <laughs> I feel like in the last few months, I've kind of changed slightly, but who knows, maybe I'll change back. I do like being productive now, and I really want to take this YouTube thing further and have a proper audience that will listen to these kind of videos that aren't just haul videos, so shout out to anyone that's actually watching this. You mean a lot to me. This is a crazy new discovery that I made this year. I learned that personality is a bigger factor in attraction to people than I thought <laughs> and when I say that I'm not talking about friends like Ryan or Karen I'm talking about boys as in romantic sexual wise I find 
I used to not give a fuck about personality really I used to think if someone was hot then I'd so want to get with them and like be their friend or whatever just based on what they looked like and that was very shallow and weird of me I just hadn't had a lot of experience so I probably didn't understand I learned this year that an attractive personality can make me become very obsessed <laughs> with the person towards the end of this year that personality actually is a big factor in attracting in attracting me I mean it's most people would say that and I didn't really fully understand that until I met people that actually had an interest in their personality as well as their looks so I learned that personality is important <laughs> I hope I have enough personality <laughs> I don't know what's gonna save me otherwise I also learned that I don't think I belong here long term in Cork whatever I think I am feeling a bit disconnected to this culture and these people I kind of want to leave I don't obviously I'm not gonna be staying here forever but at the moment I am kind of like a bit where did I it didn't hit me how I really don't fit in as much as I did before this year like I really changed I feel very different I don't know but that's just me. I mean, especially for Cork. I'm not so sure about Dublin, but Cork in general, I don't feel like I belong here long term. When I have enough money, I'm getting the fuck out of this bitch. I learned that there is some amazing people out there who are like-minded and like you. And they can help you get better as a person and you can build relationships with them and they can help you to keep doing what you're doing and stuff like that because I didn't really connect to any of those social media people that I are from Cork and people like that and I didn't really reach out to anyone like that. I definitely am going to try harder to make connections and do collabs with the other social media people in Cork. Like people watch out for the collabs on my channel if they work out hopefully I'll be posting more like that to connect with these kind of people because I am pretty introverted sometimes even though I don't actually I don't seem like an because I'm a pretty confident person but I'm actually quite introverted <laughs> a lot of the time I think a lot of youtubers are pretty introverted um, the ones I know are pretty introverted anyway I learned that change is good it's scary but it's good I used to have like a massive fear of change but I'm starting to get better at accepting it and that it's inevitable I learned this is probably one of the hardest things I learned this year I sadly learned that the world doesn't revolve around me uh, I learned that putting yourself out there such as YouTube whatever has very good reward and the people that hate on you and hate on what you do are just extremely jealous and I wouldn't blame you for being jealous of me now because this thing is doing pretty well for me at the moment I'm getting free stuff out the window and I really like it <laughs> ever if you're out of the ordinary if you're not just doing a normal basic local lifestyle then you are going to be subject to hate and people that don't like what you do don't understand what you do want to be jealous want to hate on something they don't understand or they want to just be you a lot of the time they want to have you or be you and they can't do those two things and then they hate uh, i'm gonna get a lot of hate for what i do and i don't give a fuck ever because you guys who hate on me can suck my dick i actually deleted my curious cat which was a big step in this hate thing because I was just getting hate on there and like weird sexual questions and I wasn't even getting any good questions anymore so Curious Cat is now officially gone for Power. I've experienced so much growth with my channel and my socials this kind of towards mid to the end of this year so that was extremely crazy and exciting and I still can't believe I'm nearly on 15k subscribers on YouTube I think I was at like 5k mid last year Shit be crazy sometimes when it works out. I don't know when it's gonna stop or why the fuck people are subscribing, but a lot more people are watching my talking videos, which is really nice because I don't wanna just be a whole channel. I always say that. I wanna be a real talker, YouTuber, I'd be more authentic, and I'm gonna do vlogs, shit like that. So please, if you're here just for the hauls, great, you give me AdSense, I don't really give a fuck, but I appreciate everyone that watches me being myself and just talking when it's not sponsored too heavily. <laughs> uh, things I didn't think were possible in my wildest childhood fangirl dreams happened this year. To name a few, I'm not going to drop any names because I could cause controversy. I wrote in in brackets, if you get hot, <laughs> if you used to be a fangirl and you get hot, you never know what's going to be happening to you. Check your DMs. And I also learned that YouTubers and all these people that used to be famous or people that still are famous are just people too and they're not like these gods tier people that we used to associate them as when we were 12. I'm really grateful to everyone who talked to me this year whether you were from Australia or England. <laughs>
I learned that college is hard, but okay. I actually have a bit more friends now, so I'm really grateful to them if they're watching this. Hi to my like three college friends that I have spoken to so far. I learned that time heals all wounds. I'm not making a joke to that video. <laughs> People say that time heals all wounds. But time really does heal all wounds, whether they're physical wounds, like scars, cuts, and bruises, or metaphorical, like inside your heart. Wounds, time will always heal all of them. So you just gotta give it time and time will never break your heart, but it'll take the pain away. <laughs> I learned to say yes to more things and experience life harder and live faster and die younger because who wants to get old and get wrinkly? Not me. I learned it's okay to be alone and stay inside and watch American Horror Story all day on your own. If you feel like it, it doesn't make you lazy, it doesn't make you crazy. It might make you feel crazy after like four days of doing it non-stop, which I have learned from experience makes me a little bit crazy. Like I could probably go for five, but like... But it's okay to accept that you might be more of an introverted person or you might want to just be to yourself and focus on your own things, which is something I've learned this year. I used to feel guilty if I didn't do something all the time or if I didn't like go out or I think I'm like a weirdo who just spent time inside, but... Honestly, I don't give a fuck now. I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. I mean, if I get a job, I won't be able to do like four days in a row of American Horror Story, but I'll see how I fare with that. Who knows, I might have to quit. Just kidding. <laughs> I learned, which is coming from my eating disorder recovery, sort of, I learned that you can eat junk food in moderation and still have a snatched body. <laughs> Started this year, I was still too healthy. I wouldn't eat much junk food at all. Now I can eat Oreos and Doritos here and there, and I'm still gonna have a snatched waist and a pretty body, so that was a great learning experience. <laughs> it's okay to feel emotions and cry and be happy. Don't hold it in, but you also need to learn how to control those emotions. And this is very personal to me because I am very bad at controlling my emotions. I get, I let them get the better of me and I can get so fucking emo over stuff. I have a lot of manic happiness and manic sadness phases, trying to balance it out more and stop being so dramatic about everything. <laughs> So yes, this is being the best and craziest and weirdest year of my whole life with the most ups and downs in my life and load of shit that I can't even talk about, which would only happen to me. Maybe I'll say about like what happened in 2017 in the future. When I get famous and I have enough to fall back on, I will release two crazy things that happened to me in 2017. One of them actually can. One of them wouldn't affect me at all, but one of them would, so... <laughs> It was just fucking hilarious and I really just don't want to talk about it. Maybe in like five years I'll talk about it, but for now I'm still traumatized so I'm not talking about it. <laughs> if you stuck around to the end of this really long video, you must really like me or you must be interested. I hope your 2018 goes as well as your 2017 went. If it didn't, like you, look, I guess you can always try and make it better this year. My arms just made a massive clicking sound. That was not the time for that. For subscribing to me, thank you for leaving the nice comments. I've actually been getting a lot of really, really nice comments. You didn't have to remove a lot of comments at all from my last video, so that's crazy. So thanks to all the people that refrained from being weirdos and were leaving nice comments. I really appreciate that too. As I always say, eat your Oreos, do your squats, don't let boys be mean to you. Always learn from your mistakes and time heals all wounds. Time can never break your heart, but it'll take the pain away. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.